A couple of months ago, we reviewed the Rocket Max AR glasses act as an excellent portable monitor. Since then, I've been pretty much inseparable from it. Whether it's a movie time before bed or a busy day on a business trip, it's almost like the best companion I've ever had besides my phone. However, it's not perfect. Here, I'm not trying to say it does anything wrong as a portable screen. Actually, if just take it as a portable screen in the pocket, I almost have no complaint. It has extremely easy connectivity and operation, a well-functional companion app with content, a lightweight design, and more. About all these incredible features, you can check out the review video I attached at the corner. But as a part of a portable entertaining solution, it doesn't come with a building battery but requires the phone to power it, and it doesn't provide content on its own. So in that video, we mentioned that the Rocket was bringing the Rocket station to global users, and we did super anticipate the power station. It should be able to work just as well as a compact TV box with a dedicated software system that is installed with multiple content platforms. And most importantly, it comes with a building battery for true portability. So a portable monitor in one pocket with a portable TV box in another pocket is definitely the perfect solution as I can imagine. And now we finally can introduce the global variant of the Rocket Station to you guys. As you can see, it's a pretty small device. It allows you to truly have the Android TV in your pocket. I'm pretty sure that the Rocket Station is the most compact multimedia box that I've ever seen before. What's impressive at first glance is the smooth design, which makes it perfect for holding and operating in one hand. And the smooth curves with the same body are greatly suited to any kind of storage, either in a backpack, handbag, or just a jean pocket. Inside the package, apart from the Rocket Station unit, you will find a USB-A to C cable for charging, a micro HDMI to USB-C cable for glasses connection, and of course, a user manual. And there's a remote control powered by Bluetooth. But since we already have the Rocket Station with all the main buttons, there's no problem if we keep it in the box. But probably when we cast the station to a standalone TV or monitor, the remote control might be helpful if we want to keep the station connected for power. The Rocket Station looks more like a remote control of a smart TV and is even smaller in size, supporting Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. There are four direction buttons with an enter key in the corner and four more functional keys below. The power button and the charging indicator are on the right, and the volume control is on the left, which feels like what a smartphone provides. The perfect size control makes all of these buttons easily reachable, and there's tactile feedback when pressed. So generally, you wouldn't have to take off the glasses to find certain buttons while streaming content on the glasses. It definitely solves one of the biggest discomfort that I had when I'm using Rokin Max glasses with my phone, when sometimes I have to view down to my phone and confirm operation unless I get into the AR mode. At the bottom, there's a couple of ports, a USB-C port for charging the station's 5000 mAh battery, while the micro HDMI port allows users to cast content to the glasses. The Rocket Station is a handheld portable Android TV box running Android TV 12. It's extremely easy to set up a station with a Google account, and you can select any available apps that are used to install on other devices. Based on its great portability, I think Android TV is the best option out of all the TV software. You can freely move to most areas of the world and enjoy the widest range of good software experience offered by Google. For example, I can install Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV+, Disney+, ESPN, HBO Max, or the Power of Plex TV to manage cross-platform media content. All of them are available on Google Play Store. But it's a bit strange that the Rocket Station doesn't support Netflix due to a certification issue, so please note that if you are coming for a Netflix-ready device, the Rocket Station might not meet your needs. But you can still go for the Rocket Mac glasses. With a phone that's certified by Netflix, the Rocket app also offers a great visual experience over watching Netflix content with the AR glasses. The visual experience is quite stunning with the Rocket Station. With the station connected, you can still maximize 120Hz refresh rate and 1080p resolution of the Max glasses. Operation and animation in eyes are smooth and responsive, and the wide color coverage of the 106% sRGB also presents vivid images at all times that we might not be able to enjoy with most of our displays in life. It's right in front of your eyes, stretched out on a nearly 200-inch screen at about 5 meters away. The connection between the glasses and the station is also perfect with single cable, and in order to keep you free from the cable, its USB-C end is particularly designed to be curved. So even when I lie down, the glasses sided with the cable didn't cause any discomfort, and the combination of the Max glasses and the station has replaced my TV as my best companion before falling asleep. Now let's check out the station's hardware support. It's powered by the 64-bit quad-core ARM CPU and 2GB RAM and 32GB ROM. Apart from the space occupied by the system, it still has about 24GB of local storage for app data and local media content. 
While the 32 gigabyte storage without expandable storage is not generous for a media console, but thanks to the powerful Google Play Store on Android, I highly recommend to set up a private cloud storage or a private NAS solution and install the corresponding management app on the Rocket Station, then you will get a portable TV box with an online private storage. You can not only pre-download your favorite media locally on the station while connected to the network, but also find any available APK file beyond the Google Play to install into the station. In addition to connecting directly to the glasses, it can also be used as a separate TV box with other displays. Even though I think the Station Plus glasses combo is the best way to use it, you can still get a decent viewing experience on other displays. Of course, if your monitor support USB-C video signal import, it all comes in handy. And it can also be a wonderful medium device to help you cast your phone's screen to your rocket AR glasses or other connected display via Chromecast. So when you need to check out something on a phone screen while watching films with a station, you can switch the source seamlessly with just one click on your phone. The battery life is also a surprise. The 5000 mAh battery could power both the station and Rokit Max glasses for almost 5 hours of use without recharging, which is far more energy efficient than watching TV at home. Furthermore, the visual experience presented by Rokit Max glasses is even better than a 100-inch TV. And what's crazy is that it can even work as a power bank that reversely charges other devices. So that's all the important detail that we found on the Rokit station. With the Rokit combo, I could watch movies, web series, and review our creation in the waiting room, on the airplane, on a road trip, on the road, and anywhere else. It is just like a perfect personal entertainment hub with a decent display, perfect for protecting your privacy and not disturbing others as well. So personally, I think the combo could be a great investment and might be something that could inspire your life. If you are also excited about the Rokit devices like us, just check out the link down below and let us your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you for watching. I'm Will Funky from China. See you next time.